dollar, 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 dollar. Dirt and money, no so. Had to go and get it, ain't no time to kick it. Got a stack of flip for my foes. Dollar, 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 dollar. Please tell me you can hear me. Don't turn your back and don't declare me. Just let me know if you need me. Dollar, 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 dollar. Let me watch out for my partners. Keep my money long, get my team strong. Let me run away from my problems. Yo, what's good, original crew, man? We're back. We got another Nick Crowley, man. We got the YouTube Kidnapper. Mm -mm -mm. YouTube Kidnapper. What if you came across and discovered somebody you've been watching for so long is up to some of the most gruesome you never even thought about? Now, I ain't talking about like, like an EDP. I ain't talking about that. You know what I'm saying? But I'm saying somebody that was like a kidnapper, a serial, on a lover, stuff like that. Like you've been doing videos all this time and holding somebody captive in your in your house or something. Or, so, or, or, or at anything. night and going out here and doing some Just of the doing. most horrendous things. Or a salter. Yeah. Um... Mm, and they get over here be... sitting with gold plat and tell me what's good YouTube. That'll be crazy. That will be insane, mind blowing. And what be what's so crazy? I think living in the wow. living in the day and age that we do live in, and seeing some of the things we do end up seeing. Yeah, it's probably honestly it's probably gonna happen. I don't want to. I'm not saying I'm, I'm I'm wishing it to happen. But I'm saying, like, looking at the statistics and seeing how everything is going, it's liable to happen. It is. It sucks. You know, somebody like you got to think about all these people. You, we finding out like, oh, but they got millions and millions of followers. Mm. Yeah, I feel you. Some people know how to live in disguise, though. True. Like even rappers, we find out rappers who. And, and glamorizing rappers who have mo uh, all these bodies and have, you know, taking all these lives or, you know. Mm. <sighs> but, hey, with that being said, before we get into it, make sure you check out the links in the description box. Down below. You already know where to go if you want to first support. All you got to do is check out down below. Also, if you enjoyed today's visuals. Fuck it in with a thumbs up. Let us know in the comments, man. But, hey, let's hop into it. Let's see what Nick got cooked up for us today. Let's go. Part of what fascinates me the most about YouTube is the ability that it gives for practically anyone to share their content. And for the most part, I think that this is an amazing thing. I mean, after all, it's given me a platform to share my work with all of you. But the ability for anyone to post comes with a dark side. Together, we have discussed many of the darker examples of this, but there are so many more out there that are much, much worse. Many years ago, I was introduced to the channel we will be discussing today, and I've been considering making a video on it for some time now. The channel features dozens of off-putting videos that were posted throughout the past four years. Some are discreet with their creepy messages, while others are terrifyingly blunt and straightforward. The name of this channel is OO390, and since its creation, many have come to the belief that it is run by a serial killer. And when you take a look at their content, it's no wonder why. Ooh. With over 100 uploads, it would be impossible to go over every single video in this channel's catalog. So I'll just be picking out the ones that I find most important for understanding what this channel really is. And what better place to start than the channel's first real upload. The video is titled, Pet Monster Forgotten Video and it features a bizarre musical montage of people dressed up singing different songs. The video itself is incredibly strange, but features our first disturbing clue. While some of the songs are playing, strange pictures flash along the sides that are concerning to say the least. I'm going to tell you, this is so self-incriminating. 
because the person even is trying to. I, I looking at it the way I like. I like to judge with my certain lens. What if this is the person? This is who it actually is, right? It's just a video of themselves. You get where I'm going? Yeah. I, oh, I, oh that, I'm like, that's, yeah. And singing, but they're trying to blur their face out. Yeah. But the technology they're using is not that good, and they're showing their victims. But yeah, I thought that was the whole, yeah. No, I'm saying, I didn't, this could be a random video, and he's just doing it. But I'm saying, I'm. I get what you're Now, the first part shown shows a picture of a woman with the words before accident, followed by pictures of women who were kidnapped and hearts around them. And when I watch this, the whole thing obviously feels very off to me. I mean, what accident happened to that woman? And where did these pictures of kidnapped women come from? And just as importantly, why were there hearts around their pictures? As creepy as this video is, it doesn't really tell us much. Sure, our imagination can run wild as to what this could be, but how can we really come to any conclusions here? Well, luckily for us, we have many more videos, and these videos shine a light on how dark this channel really is. The very next video posted to this channel also happens to be one of its most popular. The majority of the videos on this channel have under 2,000 views, but this one has over 1.7 million. It's titled Exploring Summer Night Streets Dash Hookers, and it's incredibly strange. Simply put, this video shows this person driving around Italy and filming random prostitutes, with most of them seemingly not noticing. This alone is very odd to watch, but what makes it creepier is the background music. That horror-themed background music is not something that I added in post, that is actually the music that plays with the video, which could be an indication that whoever made this video had sinister intentions while filming these ladies. Also, at one point, a woman is crossed out with a red X and the phrase Tropo Grassa is shown. Translated from Italian, this phrase means too fat. So from our first two videos, we can start to understand who this person is. And I don't mean who they actually are, but who they are as Oh. You can... T I don't want to put it on her, but since, like... Like the way she's dressed in the heels and and out it looks like she's on the street. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to say the devil she does, but looking at the it's somebody that he possibly caught that was a hooker. Mm. Uh, his victims. I wonder, like, what is the mo? Of his victims are they streetwalkers? Mm. Um, because the dress, the style, uh, like looking at other things, I'm like, is she? You know what I'm saying? Coming from that lifestyle too. Mm. person based off of the first video they seem to have some kind of interest in kidnapping and based off of the second video they clearly seem to objectify women as evident by the tropo grassa line and i think we can say that already it's noticeable that this person has a twisted view on women all of this context makes the next video all the more disturbing it's a short video but one that I saw around the time that it first came out, and it left me completely terrified, and still does to this day. Oh. 
Who is this woman? Why is she in the bathtub with clothes on? And why does she scream? These are the unanswered questions that I have after watching this clip. But stemming off of the idea that whoever runs this account has an interest in kidnapping, well, it makes me incredibly concerned for what's happening here. Could this lady be a kidnapping victim of this channel's creator? The next cluster of uploads features videos that get progressively more twisted. These videos include one that was titled Favorite Song of Beginner Kidnapper Doctor, which includes a disturbing song from the point of view of a sex doll, which ends with a line, when you're done, put me in my box. I'll be quiet, I won't talk. And really think about these words. When you're done with me, put me in my box. I'll be quiet, I won't talk. To me, when I hear this, I instantly think of death. Well, when someone dies, you put them in a coffin, which technically speaking is a box, just a six-sided one. And then once they're in there, they obviously will be quiet and can't talk right. because they're dead. And with the song itself being about a sex doll, I take it to be about having sex with a woman, then killing her and burying her once you're done. I know it's extremely graphic and brutal, but I truly believe that this is what this song was supposed to be symbolizing. It's weird. From there, he posts other videos entitled Audio Slash Video Torture for Kidnapped Girl and Old Footage How to Find a Girl. And in the caption for audio slash video torture for kidnapped girl, they write the following. Instructions for normal people like me. Be attention. Do not listen or watch this video. Contain hypnotic, flashing, and psychedelic sound, voice, and image. Here is a brief excerpt. This footage is exactly the kind of thing that you- It's just some weird ass that's people. It. That's it and that's all just straight up. People are weird, weird bro. To even make a video like this just lets you know like you weird. And for you to even be uploading it honestly for your own enjoyment and for hopefully the enjoyment of others. Yeah. Because you, like, I don't care what nobody says. When you upload to YouTube, you upload, especially this day and age, or possibly even then. Like, I'll say this. When YouTube was first uploaded, it wasn't for others in, in a, uh, enjoyment. It was really for, you, like, a, like a, just uploading memories, like, a, uh, yeah. like saving it somewhere. Nowadays, it's really uploaded for others' enjoyment. Mm -hmm. And that's all it is, bro. All right, for you. So, for you to even go through the process... To edit this and I make it all, yeah. you sick in the fucking head, bro. You would use to torture someone and force them to stay awake. And at this point, it's becoming very clear that the creator of this channel is trying to insinuate that they are a kidnapper. Which makes me wonder, how could this content still be on YouTube? I mean, like I said before, this channel has been around for four years and yet these videos are still up and so is the channel. This has led me to wonder if this whole channel truly is real or if it's all just some sort of publicity stunt. But this topic is something that we'll cover in a bit. For now, let's get back to their content because this is where things get even darker. On February 2nd, 2016, 00390 posted what many familiar with this channel agree is one of its creepiest posts and one that just strengthens the theory that whoever is posting these videos is in fact a kidnapper.
One of the things that I find most disturbing about this clip is how difficult it would be to fake. I mean, I think you would be really hard pressed to find anyone who can let their body go as limp as she does. Like the way she moves just seems so abnormal. I even thought that maybe this could be some type of doll, but there seems to be moments where she actually moves parts of her body, which this may explain why the title says semi-unconscious. Many of the rest of the videos on this channel consist of its creator following around and filming unsuspecting women. Each of these videos gives off such an uneasy vibe, but there are just too many to go through for just this one video. But as he follows these girls around, it seems clear that they don't want him to be filming them. But mixed within these videos are a few others that I think are worthy of sharing. So before I go on, I'll play a few of those for you now. Hmm? He complimented her, which is one of our rules. No compliments ever. Okay, let's review. Always get the girl alone. We work one on one, people. Just oh, this is this some sick shit. I was so confused with the first line. Be and dangerous. Like, <clears throat> it's cool. And then no I was computers like, ever. And then I was like, oh, it's teaching them how to. Is that comp no? It's compliments. I was oh, get compliments. The it's the L and the I. Yeah. It look like a Udemy. No compliments ever. Never com Basically, never compliment a girl. Always get the girl alone. Wherever you are, the place is, is lame. Oh, like telling girl, oh, let's get out of here. This ain't, you know? Yeah. Relate to her. Lie and lie some more. What? Oh, and this is nothing but a bunch of men. Yeah, I'm so confused. I've been confused the whole time. So I went and I looked. I was just trying to look and see if this, this account is still up. The account has 53,000 followers. Mm. And the most recent post from the, this individual was four days ago as we recorded. Huh? The most recent post from the individual he's covering on you. was I four days you. ago. But I'm just like, what? Three months ago. Eight months ago. And eight months ago, it's a girl, she in a bloody clothes. One year ago, a girl tied up to a chair. And I'm also wondering, like, is this something that's like, like you're doing and people just think that it's just like for whatever that they don't think is real? Or are you getting these like clips and videos like from random places? And like, this is, regardless of the fact, it's weird to me. So I went to this community tab. It, there's a missing girl flyer. And the missing girl is 16 years old, and he's reposting them. I don't know, man. The individual behind this. Look at this. The individual behind this profile is very weird. And if like, it's very weird, bro. More missing girls. It gives me very much so. There's, there's whoever's behind this is doing. You can trace IP address and everything. You can see where they uploading it from if you really care. If I was just, I was gonna let you finish what you were saying, <laughs> but yes, if you really cared, not like people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like y'all really care. That's crazy. Separate the prey from the herd. Next. Lie, lie, lie some more. Yes, until you have something real to offer, you lie. Wow. I've seen this. That's a tongue. But that but this actually looks like a a, a cow's tongue. But I never seen a human tongue extracted I I out of it. Cow tongue was bigger, but it may be or some it could type be a of animal. Tongue. Some type, of, yeah. yeah. But I, it's weird. it doesn't look like it can be a human tongue. But I've never seen a human tongue extracted out of a body. Mm -hmm. So I can't necessarily say. Have I seen a tongue? Yeah, a tongue. It's not a cow tongue. Mm -hmm. A cow tongue is black. It's yeah. It's, it looks totally different. But but then again, I'm like. Ooh, ooh. Mm. I don't even want to think about it. 
But it looks too long to be a human tongue. Or am I wrong? Unless it's all fake. Whether real or fake, all of these videos have gone on to prove weird. that this person either is or is just pretending to be a kidnapper who preys on women. But there's another strange layer to this. And it's one that may show us that not only is this person a kidnapper, but also a murderer. Sprinkled into his dark and disturbing videos are random posts of food. These foods consist of pasta, sausage, and whatever this is. But the key ingredient that all of them have is meat. Can you guess where I'm going with this? When I was researching for this video, I started to really focus in on these specific posts because they seemed so out of place on this channel. But then I started to think about it. This person allegedly stalks girls, then kidnaps them, but then what? Well, maybe when he's done with them, he kills them. And after that, he eats them. I couldn't think of any other logical conclusion as to why these videos would be posted other than this. And wouldn't you know it, when you look at the caption of the dollhouse stove working test, cooking some meat video, this idea is confirmed. Using this as context, when we view the channel's about tab, it takes on an incredibly sinister meaning. As they put, do not offer me money for affiliation or visualization or other. I am not interested. At best, offer me some typical food of your country, which could now be seen as him asking for the flesh of other women from other parts of the world. So if this channel is actually real, then what we appear to have here is a stalker, a kidnapper, a murderer, and a cannibal all wrapped up into one YouTuber. But in the end, what actually is this channel? Is this truly the work of someone evil, or is it just another ARG? Well, based off the looks of things, it seems the consensus conclusion is that this is in fact an ARG. As terrifying and as creepy as this whole channel is, if this truly were real, then I don't think it would have lasted this long on YouTube. Plus, I'm struggling to find a motive as to why someone would want to broadcast these actions to the whole world. Sure, some serial killers will ultimately commit their crimes simply because they are egomaniacs, desperate for attention. But this person doesn't show their face or their name, so the attention they are getting from this channel isn't personalized in any way and therefore it probably wouldn't provide much satisfaction. Personally, I think this account was created for the sole purpose of creeping others out, and I do have doubts that this person actually is a kidnapper or a killer, but there still is some darkness to this channel. All of these videos that I had mentioned previously of them following and recording girls seem completely real. What his motives are for doing this isn't exactly clear, but even if it was just part of his ARG, it is still incredibly intrusive. I mean, recording anyone without their consent like this and following them around does equate to stalking, so I still have many concerns. And despite my personal opinion that this is all just an ARG, I still wasn't able to find any concrete proof of this. So the truth is that I still don't really know what we have here. And it appears that for now, this will remain yet another one of the internet's many mysteries. Yeah. This entire video was just weird dark and, and strange and... Very dark and sinister. Very much so. Because regardless of the fact that like, the videos are just not his videos and, you know, fake, it's just weird that you're taking your time to even... To go, out like, your, go out your way to search for videos like this and put it like on your channel and put these captions and put like it's just weird. Too much like, work too, to go in too much to something that for you, you to not be on that top type of time. Yeah, not saying you like actually out here, but you think a certain way and it's just weird. My voice keep going out, but um, yeah. I don't know, man. It's very sick. To say the least, most definitely. To say to say the least. That is key. 
But um, hey man, y'all spend my up, man. Y'all let us know y'all um, thoughts and opinions about it for us in the comment section down below. Uh, sick, sick content, man. But as always, y'all know how it go, man. I do go by the name DJ Nikki. This is Sierra Nicole. We are Tennessee. Yeah. No time to kick it. Got a stack of flip for my folks. Dollar, 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 dollar. Please tell me you can hear me. Don't turn your back and only clap me. Just let me know if you need me. Dollar, 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 dollar. Let me watch out for my partner.